Richard and Karen Shiverdecker from Lewisburg were killed when a semi driver failed to stop at a construction zone on I 70 yesterday. The semi driver, Robert Franklin, died at the hospital. Now OSP is working to figure out why he didn't stop. Two News reporter Judith Rutana has the follow up. Well, this was a very complicated crash with several drivers and semis involved. OSP says that while they may be able to determine the what, where, and how, they may never answer why. A violent wreck near the Indiana border stops traffic for hours. Truck number one stops. Truck number two is slowing to stop. Uh, the SUV was behind that truck, slowing to stop. But OSP says the driver of a third semi following Richard and Karen Shiverdecker's SUV didn't give himself enough stopping room. That chain reaction crash sending the Shiverdeckers off the road. When it overturned multiple times, both occupants, the driver and passenger, were ejected out of the vehicle. Sergeant Kramer says they found something odd. Both the driver and passenger seatbelts were clicked in. Strange things happen in these kind of crashes. It's not clear if the shiver deckers were sitting on the seatbelts or if the violent impact forced them out of their seatbelts. And they're going to uh, really look in, in depth at, at that, see if that was possibly being used uh, during their autopsies. And so it's, it's kind of one of those things where um, we're not really sure, and it's just weird. For now, he says there are already conversations about whether there is enough signage around construction zones. With the driver believed to be at fault dead, it may be difficult to determine why the semi driver didn't stop in time. Or eating or messing with his radio. I mean, you just sometimes in these investigations, you're just not going to get those answers. Now, Sergeant Kramer says he doesn't know if the driver of that fourth or the third semi was wearing their seatbelt. He says life saving efforts for that driver didn't allow law enforcement to determine that at the scene. For now, live in Clayton, Judith Hartana, 2 News, working for you.